Carlwell Mont and I'm delighted to be here today. Um, I run Calm with Carl, that's a counselling and therapeutic support service for young people. Um, today we're going to talk about school, starting back to school. It, we have been off school for so long and I know that there are so many different emotions that we're all going to go through um, in the next couple of days. What I wanted to do was to show you some of the things that are going on in your heads that you maybe don't understand or that you're maybe a wee bit afraid of. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about bread, okay? Now I have bread for breakfast and I put peanut butter and banana on it and it's my favorite. Um, do you like bread? What do you like to put on your um, bread? Tell whoever's with you watching this video um, what you like to put on your bread. Um, now bread is really, it's good. It's nice, it tastes delicious. This is my favorite kind of bread. Um, and I love the heels, but there was none left today. Um, so I had to just go for a normal piece. Um, but bread can change, can't it? What does bread turn into? Doesn't it turn into toast? Okay, so when we put bread in a toaster, it changes, doesn't it? Yeah, it becomes more crispy. Yeah, um, it becomes harder and it's hot. So there's a couple of things that changes to bread when we put it in the toaster, okay? Um, well, first of all, it changes its name, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and sometimes when we're going through life or when we're going to start school, we know that something's gonna change and it can make us a wee bit worried. Um, and what I wanna reassure you today is it's okay to be worried. Um, it's okay to be nervous um, about starting back to school. We have all been off school or work for months and it is different. It's a different way of life. We've maybe had to do our lessons on online or we've maybe had to do a three seesaw or workbooks being sent home. We have all had to change the way that we, we do our work and do school. So what I wanna say first is that you're incredible for being resilient enough to be able to manage that already. The second thing I wanna say is that change sometimes comes from fear. Um, and a lot of the time when we are afraid of something changing, it's because we don't really know what it's gonna be like. Um, we've heard so many things on the news about what schools have to do, what cleaning things they have to do, and when, how many times you have to wash your hands in a day, when we have to wear a mask or no mask. Um, and there, there's probably so many questions in your head that you're worried about what school will look like. And what I wanna do is I wanna say that it's okay we're worried as well. I'm worried about going back to school. I'm sure your teachers are concerned about going back to school and about how that's going to look and how it's going to work when all of you come back to school next week. So what I want to reassure you today is that when we're worried, a lot of the times it's because we're afraid and we're afraid of something that we don't know. But do you know the way we looked at this bread? that it changes and when we put it in the toaster, it becomes hot and it becomes a piece of toast instead of bread. Um, what else changes? Doesn't the weather change? There was a storm last night and it's raining today. And if I went to bed and I worried about the weather, would I be able to change the weather? Nope, because that's not in my control. And what we need to realize is that sometimes we can't change things. We can worry about them and we can panic and we can not want to do it, but that doesn't change anything. We are, we are gonna have to go back to school and we're gonna have to push ourselves to do that because worrying about it won't change it. But what we need to do is we need to find people around us that can support us. So maybe you have an, a classroom assistant or a teacher or a friend that you could talk to in school about some of the worries that you have. So finding somebody new or somebody that you know and trust that you can talk to can be really, really helpful. The third thing that I wanna tell you today is that this can be a good opportunity, okay? It is good for us to be with each other. It is good for us to be back at school and to be learning and to be with your friends. I've missed my friends so much over lockdown and I've missed the people that I work with so much. And I am excited to go back and to spend some time with them at lunchtime and break time. 
And yeah, school's gonna look a little bit different and we might have to wash our hands more and we might have to go up and down a one-way system around the school, but this can be a good thing as well. Change isn't always bad. And when we are afraid of it, it can sometimes look bad. Um, and we can think in our heads that it's bad, but actually sometimes change is for the better. Um, we have learned so much over lockdown and over the restrictions um, about science and about spending time together and about being with your families and now is a different thing that we're going to have to learn about being together safely and all of the changes that have been put in place are to protect you and to help you get back and transition back into school a wee bit easier so today remember you're a piece of bread okay you can change but it's not always a bad thing okay and the things that are changing within school are there to protect you okay now there'll be other people around you that you can get to support you and um, there's maybe counsellors in your school or teachers or classroom assistants or your friends that can support you use those people they want to help and this is for you for you to keep safe and for you to get back in to a new kind of normal um, i hope that this next week is super exciting for you and you enjoy being back at school and seeing your friends and seeing your teachers. And I hope that you can find those people around you that can protect you and can support you so that you don't have to think and worry about all the things that you're not sure about and keep them inside of your head. Share those with other people because there are people here that wanna support you. I hope you're keeping okay and stay safe. See you soon.